Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is a different video in which I'm doing for you guys, but this is my video where I'll be giving you my 7 things that I believe Chelsea need to do in order to beat Tottenham Hotspur later on today. So I'm just going to go straight into the list of 7 things, so um, yeah, starting from the first thing, um, the first thing in which I believe the Chelsea first team need to do in order to beat Tottenham Hotspur at Stamford Bridge later on today is that they need to remain defensively solid. And what I mean by defensively solid is defensively solid um, in the in the way. I mean, um, let me let me rephrase that. I think we need to play the way we did against Manchester City because we were impeccable. Um, we we did not deserve to lose that way, but. It happens, but yes, the first thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to remain defensively solid. Um, so that's the first thing out of the way. The second thing that I believe that we need to do is that the players need to play for each other, the fans, the manager and the badge in which they wear on their hearts. Um, because recently we haven't been doing that, bar the um, Manchester City game in the Cowboy Cup final. Oh uh, yeah, that, that one's pretty straightforward, so I'm going to move on. That's the second thing. The third thing that I believe that the Chelsea first team needs to do is that they need to be clinical. Oh my gosh. Now the reason why I'm saying that is because we, we're just not a clinical team. Um, we're, well, we can be a clinical team when we want to be, but we're not necessarily renowned for um, for, for being clinical. Um, and a, a good example of that would be our Cal the Cowboy Cup final against Manchester City. We had chances to put that game to bed. Um, Kante missed. Um, Eden Hazard missed, um, Pedro missed, well he missed the ball completely but you get the idea. So we need to be clinical because Spurs are no pushovers. But yeah, um, that's the third thing. The fourth thing that I believe that we need to do, so we're halfway through the list, is that we need to, we, we need to make the most of set piece opportunities including throw-ins because um, you never know what can, what can arise from set pieces. Our set, piece, our set pieces um, tend to be pretty awful. Um, so we need to improve on them as well. But yeah, that's the fourth thing. We need to make the most of all set-piece opportunities. The fifth thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to get bodies into the box and move the ball quick, quickly when in possession of it because um, we tend to move the ball pretty slowly and we sometimes tend to move the ball from side to side, which is pretty frustrating to watch. No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna scapegoat Jorginho for that because I've seen some people scapegoat Jorginho for that. Um, a lot of our players do it, so don't just scapegoat. Don't just scapegoat one player for that, and take it from me because I've been I've been one to criticise Jorginho. Um, but yeah, that's the fifth thing that I believe that we need to we we need to do. We need to get bodies into the box and move the ball quickly when in possession. Now the sixth thing that I believe that we need to do, it's kind of an elaboration on the point in which I've just given you, is that we need to not give the ball away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We finish. We need to not give the ball away because when we do give the ball away, we we <laughs> we either don't get back um, quickly in time or we're just um, out of position. <laughs> I kind of said the same thing twice, but you get the idea. Sorry about that. that. Sorry about that, by the way. But yeah, that's the sixth thing that we need to do. The seventh and final thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to enjoy the game. Yes, um, it is going to be a hard game, but we might as well we might as well enjoy it because part of Part of being a professional footballer, fo footballer um, is um, providing entertainment for the fans. Um, so yeah, we need to enjoy the game because if we don't, then we we won't we won't want to go out and win. Um, so basically, the seventh reason is the seventh thing that we need to do is that we need to go out and show some fight, which is kind of an elaboration on all the other six on on the other six points in which I've given you. But yes, I'm going to give you a recap. First point in which the first point in which I made is that we need to remain defensively solid. The second point I made is that we need to play for each other, the fans, the manager, and the badge. The third thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to be clinical. The fourth thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to make the most of set piece opportunities, including throw ins or throw ons, however you want to say it. The fifth thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to get bodies into the box and move the ball quickly when in possession of it. The sixth thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to not give the ball away. Oh my gosh, that's something we definitely need to do. And the seventh and final thing that, be that I believe that we need to do is that we need to enjoy the game and show a lot of passion because it is Tottenham Hotspur. We cannot stand those lot. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all very soon. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon for another video. Um, I will be doing my team sheet reaction very soon. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, come on you blues. And peace.